exercise 16 show web PGD alarms and trends where in the three child displays that we have created in the previous exercise because now that three pages are almost empty they have just a title and the date widget and a button that brings back to the main page now we can show the web PGD in the service, the list of the alarms in the alarms and the trend of temperature in the trend page. The key point is that these three objects are not object displays like the gauges, thermometers with scale, whatever else, but they are provided as HTML code. So the point is how to include generic HTML code in a C web page. We have to use a new object called foreign object. So this object allows to include generic HTML code into a C web page. The example is what we are talking about is the web PGD alarms and trends. But you can, you can include any HTML code, also code to show a YouTube video, Google map, map, a PDF or any other HTML code. Well, let's start the exercise. Let's place in the service page an foreign object. Click. So click, move and release like a rectangle. So the point is the HTML code that we are going to write will be able to show information just inside this rect. Move. So you have to write your code inside the div tag. So here in this place. What is the code for the web PGD? Here is for the web PGD is this for the alarm list this one and the trend this one. So to avoid spelling mistakes, it is recommended to copy from this slide rather than copy, let's say, uh, manually. So ask I copy this copy and paste here inside the div and the end div okay unfortunately when you click somewhere else the rect disappear so you can know that here there is a um, foreign object only if you okay, move the cursor over or you click understand so here is our code Let's repeat for the other three. So alarms, add for an object, copy, copy, paste, close. the last one here I have already copied so just place just paste well let's try to upload and see what happened I already know that it doesn't work but I want to check Reload, enter, and uh, we don't see the web PGD here as well as uh, the alarm list here and so on. What is the problem? Uh, okay, first of all, we can read uh, not found, make sure that uh, the USB cable is not connected. Why? Okay, if you, if you have attended the, the C suite training, you already know because uh, if you plug the USB cable, the internal flash memory that is the memory where the web pages are saved are stored 
that memory is mounted as a disk. So the operating system is not able, as well as the web server, is not able to access to, access to that memory. This is the point. Second point, make sure the requested page is in the HTTP folder, and this is the problem. In fact, if you enter, you can see that the HTML code shown here in this area is this. Okay, I don't want to go in details with the HTML code, but we can see or we can guess that here is shown a HTML page, the webpgd.htm, that is saved in a folder called webpgd where in the HTTP folder of the controller. The problem is that uh, that file is not present there. I have not copied or um, it is not copied automatically. So the next step is copy these pages into the controller. So we have to copy the HTML pages into the HTTP folder of the controller. Where are these pages? They are in KSA. This is the C web area in KSA. We have to go in the templates. Foreign objects. Here is the file. So we have to download. Okay, downloaded. Let's open it. Here are web PGD trend and common. So for the first foreign object we have to copy the web PGD. The web, here is the web PGD. Actually, not only that folder, but also the common. So this folder must be copied, uh, always copied, regardless uh, the uh, specific uh, foreign object that you wanted to include. Uh, and also the dictionary. So for the web PGD, we have to copy the common and the web PGD. Since we used uh, all the three, we have to copy all. So we have to copy somehow these folders in the controller. Somehow I mean via USB or via FTP. So now in this moment I don't have a USB cable so I will use the FTP protocol. I like Toto Commander, it has an FTP client. So edit the IP is 10.10.1.2 Use the name password anonymous Very good Connect So this is the controller So I have to copy in the HTTP folder This one sir. So Copy here It doesn't let to copy I have to select uh, the downloads so all this copy here okay it takes a while ah, by the way I can take the opportunity to remind that uh, you can uh, stop uh, the application in the system menu. This is what I'm doing right now. Stop application. Because if you stop the application, uh, the controller has uh, more time, CPU time to dedicate to other tasks like the FTP server. But we can see that it is uh, much more faster. Once finished, I will uh, restart uh, the controller or just uh, uh, sorry, restart the application or simply power off, power on the controller. Okay, finished. Now I restart 
I'll just restart the application. Here are the folders, web trend, web PGD, and so on, and they are in the HTTP folder of the controller. Very good, so close. Now we can try again. Reload. So this is the web PGD. And go back. This is the list of the alarms. Let's try let's trigger another alarm. The high temperature and also I'm removing the probe so should trigger also the probe alarm. Okay, the probe and defreeze. This works and also the trend. Well, we don't see the trends. Why? Because we have to select what is the trend that we want to show. The point is that the three foreign objects have some optional attribute. For example, we can that is what we are what we need. We can set or set up the trend in order to show a specific trend, for example, the first of the two or whatever else are configured in the controller. To do this, we have to add some extra code in the line that we copied right before. For, for, for details of for the complete list of the attributes, you can refer to the uh, online help, to the help in general. So let's open it. Is it C web help? We can go in the libraries foreign object trend in this case. Okay, here is the description of our work, uh, the foreign object, uh, and uh, somewhere uh, here below, here is the list of the optional attributes or parameters. Here is the mode uh, to select if we want to show a live trend or uh, the trend of the data logger, uh, the ID of the log, uh, the first or the second, the third, and so on, and other, other attributes time zone and the rest. For example, to show the trend of the first log, we have to copy this code. So mode, particular this mode trend, remind you that there are two options, live or trend. We need the trend and we use, we show the log zero, that is the first of the two, in, this, in our case, that are already installed. So we have to copy this, copy in the trend, double click, here, paste. Actually, we can't write simply this, because in HTML, to write the ampersand, we have to write like this amp as written here amp and semicolon semicolon save distribute okay, we have to re-enter in the trend we have to refresh with this and here is uh, the trend of the temperature now I decrease to 10 almost 10, 9 to 10 degrees <coughs> with some moment for, uh, for the sample and uh, 
reload and here is, uh, is about 10 degrees okay it works quick summary the goal was to show the WebPGD alarms and trends in the three new object display we used the foreign object so we placed a foreign object in the three displays and we have copied inside this text this for the WebPGD, this for the alarms and the trend after that we copied these folders, WebPGD, Web Alarms, Web Trends, and also a common uh, folder. Uh, we found that the folders, uh, that uh, files in general, in um, KSA, C Web Area, templates, uh, CP, foreign object. I have copied uh, via FTP, but uh, you can do via USB, and probably is also uh, faster via USB. I have uh, modified uh, this one, the third one, adding some attributes because each of the three foreign objects has specific attributes. We had an example for the trend, but there are others for the alarms uh, and also for the web PGD. And then we tested and uh, it worked. So also for this exercise, uh, it's all.